So yesterday's video about stop drinking and doing drugs seemed to hit home with a few people because it's easy to fall into that trap where you get comfortable as that being your outlet and then you have trouble getting back on track. And so today I wanted to build on that message, uh, sharing with you a lesson that I learned after or at one of my keynote speaking engagements uh, a couple of years ago when I was out in Manitoba. Um, shout out to Ryan Pandolfi um, for bringing myself together with uh, Big Daddy Taz. If you want to hear a, a speaker on mental health, it's really funny. Check out Big Daddy Taz and uh, another guy named John Ludenberg. <clears throat> and during our Q&A session um, around mental health, uh, it's where John said something, shared something with an audience member that really uh, landed with me that I, I'm confident will land with you as well. So the short story is that uh, John was an alcoholic and uh, I can't remember how many years, two or three maybe, I'm, I hope I'm not um, doing an injustice of how many years he's been sober, but he's been sober for several years now, which of course is a huge milestone for anybody that has a drinking problem. And so one of the audience members asked John like what really helped him quit drinking? And he shares a story about when he was in rehab that uh, one of his counselors looked at John and said, John, next time you think about picking up a bottle, I want you to play the tape until the end. When you think about picking up that bottle or doing some drugs or whatever it is, whatever your vice is, I want you to play the tape until the end. So what does that mean? Well, you know, in John's case, it's it's like, you know, you don't think about it when you pick up the first first drink, what the end of the night's gonna look like. You only think about what that first drink's gonna be like. And then you finish the first drink and then you have a second drink. And then you have a third drink and then you have a fourth drink and then it carries on and carries on. And you, in some cases you're blacked out and you end, up, you end up fighting, you end up waking up with a hangover, you end up the next day not following through on what it is that you need to do and in many cases it can end up ruining your life um you know chatting with another friend right now it's like constant arguments with his wife um you know or the hangover spills over into day two day three and then it's day drinking and then all of a sudden it's like you know you're not showing up to work it goes on and on and on so the point is that if you're if you find yourself struggling and in some if you need professional help, I encourage you to go get that. I've mentioned before, again in the other video, that I have pursued professional help before and it's been beneficial. So don't be ashamed if you do need that. But for so many of you that have the willpower, have the control, who might just need another like aha moment or something to click in your head to help you stop doing what you're doing when you know it's not it's unhealthy for you. So remember the simple phrase that uh, when you're going down that path that you know you don't want to be on, just remind yourself to play the tape until the end.